again. As you can see, my wig is over there. She took herself off. Look, y'all. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this to y'all already, but I'm lazy natural, so... I mean, I was going to show y'all how I take my wig off, but... Yeah, no. No, I was just like, you know what? Mm. Just no. Just no. So, um, I had a lot going on. So, I didn't really have time to film. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to wait until I got time. Then I'll film it. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to film. And then it slipped right off. And I was like, oh. Oh well, it is what it is. So, in today's video, uh, I'm gonna show y'all, I'm not gonna show y'all how I wash my hair. I'm just gonna like, come back in between cause I'm not really focusing on washing my hair. Look at that dome. <laughs> but, honestly, this is gonna be like a protein treatment video because my last couple of hairstyles, like, what did I braid my hair twice, put on a wig, and put on another wig? So I braided my hair twice, and I put on two wigs, and I've been blow-drying my hair, and half the time I've been, I've been forgetting to use um, a heat protectant. So my hair is probably in need of a protein treatment, badly, <laughs> like really bad. So... Um, what did I do? I kept these braids in for two wig installs. So, if you can see, I have a lot of new growth. I have, I probably have like a inch, an inch worth of new growth. So, um, I'm going to start taking these braids out. And I'm going to lightly detangle my hair because I mean I'm not about to jump in the shower with matted hair not matted but because my hair will be pretty much not it won't be like super detangled because it's been a braid so it hasn't been out but I'm going to have a lot of shedding so I'm going to need to get rid of that Y'all not breath. Mm. Running up and down the steps. Like, once y'all get a certain age and you're running up and down the steps, you get tired. Like, I'm, I'm too old to be running up and down the steps. And I'm sitting here looking at myself like, told me to be upstairs <laughs> I mean I told me to be upstairs but still like this is so extra I mean it's not extra but it's just like yeah it's time for these braids to come out <laughs> cause I'm not having a hard time taking them out mmm I'm having a hard time already. All right, y'all. So, I don't have much to say. And I'm still trying to catch my breath from running up and down the steps because I'm old. I'm not old, but like I said, once you get about a certain age, your knees start hurting, your back start hurting. You can't be out here running and sh nah. And I'm not in shape either. Like, I may be small, and it's like a lot of people are like, oh, you're small, you gotta be in shape. No, I'm so out of shape. Ask me when's the last time I did a push up. The last time I did a push up was like three months ago, and I only did five. And I was struggling to get away with two. Like, I'm so out of shape, it's not even funny. Anyway. I'm about to take these braids out. Hopefully, 
Oh my god, hopefully I don't die while I'm doing it because sis is out of breath and I can't breathe. So, yeah, just keep watching and watch me detangle my hair and take these nasty, crusty braids out. so much heat in my hair over like the last two months i mean the last time i washed it well the last time i washed it i was wearing braids but oh my nose itch um before then my hair looked fine but i don't know i was washing my hair out and i was like i don't see it reverting i mean it was reverting but it was like but then at the same time 
I was in the sink and I usually wash my hair in the shower. And if you could see that right there, that's a mirror. So I can usually see my hair in the mirror. So it looks fine, but you never know. My hair is very sensitive. So <laughs> not all these dust balls. Maybe that's why my nose is itchy. See these dust balls all over the place. Um, <sighs> I'm scared. Scared. Oh, okay. Okay, that's about right, kind of. Oh. I don't know if you use flakes in my hair. to wash it again though no because <laughs> like honestly i'm about to put the protein treatment in anyway so i'm gonna end up rinsing it out again anyway but honestly my hair feels clean i think it's just i still had glue like left in front of my braids like over here so i think i'm pretty sure it's just like i'm pretty sure it's glue y'all now that i actually sit here and look at my hair i haven't seen my hair out in a long time so i'm i think my hair reverted back but well it's also been sitting in the towel and it's kind of dry now so maybe that's why it looks like that. I mean, I know my hair grew a lot, but. Oh, y'all, these flakes is killing me, bro. Like, I mean, it's not even flakes. I think it's just leftover glue. Because the front of my hair was really. I don't know how to explain it. Like, the front of my hair was. It felt weird. It felt different compared to the rest of my hair. It was just, like, really slick and squeaky. Anyways, yeah, my hair's reverting back all right, because where'd all the lymph just go? I look a mess, y'all. <laughs> oh, look at my hair. First of all, not even my hair, like my big ass forehead. Like, child, <sighs> what? So I'm going to do this in sections. Honestly, fuck a comb. Fuck a comb. What do I need a comb for? Excuse my French. Forget this comb. Like, I'm not styling my hair. I'm just doing the protein treatment. Who cares if the parts are perfect? I just want to look good enough. Oh, yeah. I don't know if y'all see, but my hair is already... My hair is already reverting. After I did that little shake and bake. <laughs> I thought that that little shake and bake. My hair is actually, I didn't dry it on purpose, but as you can see, I had it in the t-shirt and I literally just washed my hair and then took it out the t-shirt. So, usually, usually it takes a while for my hair to dry, but I don't know y'all something about this <laughs> something about this y'all something about this yeah maybe I probably should have parted my hair cause I'm getting hair I'm getting mixed up all over the place my hair's not even long so what was I thinking do y'all see the shrinkage though? I know y'all see it. Anyways, I was saying, my hair is kind of dry, so I hope that this whole process won't go left. 
my hair isn't nappy or nothing it's just i need to take my nails off and my hair keeps getting stuck i probably y'all what is this <clears throat> i should have just parted my hair because what did i just do I don't even like this there's like this one piece that just doesn't go anywhere like i could feel it in the middle of my head like it just don't go anywhere like it feels like it belongs over here because it does i'm sick of myself i just don't know what part i don't know if it goes to the top or the bottom ow i think it goes to the top Hope it does today. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So I'm pretty much going to show y'all what I'm going to do. Um, I know I didn't mention it already. I'm gonna use the afro. It's called Afro G. I keep calling it Afro G. I know it's not Afro G because there's no R. But I keep calling it that because Afro G is just like, you know what I'm saying? You know how, you know how it's blastful. Blast. Y'all, put me to bed because this, I'm tired. <clears throat> Anyways, I was saying, us blacks, blacks, us black folks be adding extra letters to words. We add extra letters, we take away letters, like, this is what I'm using. It is the two-step protein Yeah, yeah, I need to go to bed, because why am I stuttering? I mean, I know that I'll be like, sometimes y'all catch me like, what is, what is, come on, girl? But as of right now, like, I don't. I don't understand what's going on here. Like, why am I having such a hard time speaking? Honestly, I should. This is too much. I'm gonna let y'all know this is too much. But I'm gonna end up pouring it back in the bottle. I need. I need another spray bottle with water in it. Cause my hair is dry. I mean, it's not dry, it's damp. It's not even damp. It's like 95% dry right now. Not, yeah, it's like 95% dry right now. But honestly, I'm about to just say forget it and get this thing over with anyway. Because who got the time, y'all? Who got the time? Who? I'm about to see if you soak up my hair all over again. Oof. And I was really going to like, what I was thinking about was, I was like, oh my gosh. I was thinking about defining my hair, like doing like a twist out or something. But honestly, I really don't mind that my hair isn't completely defined. Because when I try to define my hair and it's short, it's just going to shrink up even more. So I might just like, when I'm done this whole process, just like put a cream in and call it a day because like baby the length anyway all right let's get into this thing and let me stop talking before i keep stuttering all right y'all so no i'm not done i forgot to break the steps down to y'all oh, me and this dome baby <laughs> anyway um ugh. This is, I mean, clearly says two steps, but you're supposed to like put it in and then rinse it out. But the whole process is you put it in your hair and then you blow dry it so it gets hard and crispy and then you rinse it out. But you don't want to comb through it. Like on the instructions, it says comb through it, but let's be real. If you have 
natural kinky hair or curly hair do please do not try to comb through this like i'm not saying your hair's gonna fall out or snap off but you're asking for trouble and i'm gonna show y'all in a second what i mean because first of all it don't take long to dry and just the way my hair is now if i try to comb this through like basically it's trying it's like trying to detangle your hair try try to detangle your curly hair dry hell hell in a handbasket and i forgot to mention to y'all how messy this is like i know i seem like oh what you mean messy y'all my first my very first time i did this like three four years ago I was drenched from head to toe. I mean, I got this stuff all over the place and I didn't know how sticky it is. It is sticky, it stinks, and it's messy, okay? So if you need like a real protein treatment, I would suggest this, highly suggest. But if it's like a, I need a pick me up, don't do it. It's not worth the hassle, it's really not. The only reason why I would even suggest this, like I'm saying, is if you're like in a dire need emergency, like color damage, um, split ends, uh, heat damage, and it's not going to solve the problem, but it'll like revive your curls. Now, luckily, I didn't have any heat damage, but I just know that my hair needed a boost because it had been like two months and I've been using heat back to back to back. Not like back to back, but every time I wash my hair. I was using heat and that's not good for your hair this is how much i have left over like i told y'all i wasn't going to need all of it it's like the consistency of water it's just sticky it's sticky like cough medicine like you ever spill cough medicine yeah um these are my curls are looking like so far so i know it's working because my curls are already, I mean, it's not that I was afraid my curls weren't going to revert back. I just thought that my texture would be a little loose because of all the heat I put on it. Y'all just dropped something. I don't know what it was. Anyways. <clears throat> um, it's dripping. And y'all, if you're not experienced with this stuff, like I mentioned, it will get everywhere, everywhere. And even though I've been doing this for years, not even years, like it says you're supposed to use it every four to six weeks. I don't use it unless I absolutely have to because my hair is protein sensitive. But let me tell y'all, <laughs> this is my absolute last resort, like it's messy when i first started it will be stuff all over the sink all over the floor like all over my face all over my body even when i just got the shower i have to jump right back in and this time i wasn't about to get in the shower i washed my hair in the sink because i don't want to jump in and then jump back out to jump back in to be covered in this mess and it's not that bad it's really not that bad this time but sometimes it's a mess for me. And sometimes it looks like, oh, you did good. Yeah, but it's dripping. It's getting all gotten all over my shirt. Do this. Another tip. When y'all do this, make sure y'all do this in a shirt you do not care about. This is just a regular black shirt. Like sometimes I sleep in it. Sometimes I wear it around the house. It's no big deal. But if you like, oh, I'm about to go out and I need to do this protein treatment, girl, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't even think about it. And don't wear white either. Like, I'm not saying it's going to stain your clothes, but this stuff is brown, sticky. I don't want to take no chances. <laughs> so I'd just rather wear a black shirt. And if I got a little black or I got a little spot, Ain't nobody going to see it or I'm just going to be wearing it around the house anyway. Y'all, let me hurry up and dry this mess because, y'all hear that? I'm dripping on the floor and I'm going to have to clean that up. Ugh. 
so um i'm gonna go between um medium and high heat and a high and medium setting because who's about to sit here all night no mm -mm. i know i said it dries fast but still I'm going to be blowing this mess all over my bathroom and I don't want to be up all night cleaning up this mess, okay? So, let's get into it, y'all.
All right, look, y'all. As you can see by the expressions on my face, this shit is taking way too long. Like, this one little piece here and this one little piece here. Not, not the little piece, but if you can tell, like, it still looks a little wet. Like, this piece here, this piece here, and this piece here. Do not want to dry. Like, I'm about to go take... Let me take a breather. Let me take a breather. I'm about to go eat a snack. And hopefully by the time I come back, something something is going to give. Because my hands are sticky from keep checking my hair. Everywhere else is dry. But this piece, this piece, and this little piece in the corner right here. Like, I don't want to do this all night. I don't. I don't. And I'm going to touch my face too. Like, <sighs> all right. So... I'm about to eat a little snack and take my sweet time eating that little snack because it's hot and I don't want to be sitting up in here in this bathroom blow drying three strands of hair all day. No. Mm -mm. No. So, uh, the next time I see y'all, my hair will be completely dry. I mean, technically my hair is 99% dry. But I have these three pieces that are just like, heh, nah, 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 boo, boo. Like, uh-uh. Fall in line like the rest of them. Fall in line. What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all can't even have a party because y'all are too far apart to be partying. So fall in line, okay? Get with the rest of the crew. Eh? Anyways, um, I'll be back. And by the time I come back, my hair is going to be dry, dry. Because like I said, who's doing this on any? Who? All right. <sighs> See y'all in the next video, footage, whatever. All right, y'all. So I'm back. I'm in better spirits because I had a snack, watched a couple of YouTube videos, and my hair was dry. I didn't have to put on any extra heat and I'm confused because why did it take so long for me to blow dry my hair but I'm just sitting down doing nothing and it dries. That's neither here nor there. Um, real quick, uh, before my camera dies because it's giving me the alert. Um, this is what it looks like. This is why I say do not comb your hair while you have this stuff in because it will start to dry before you're even done blow drying like before you even start to blow dry it'll start to dry like um like the instructions say to comb through what comb through what why why would you comb through this you know what i'm saying it's stiff it's like, it's not moving at all. Snowstorm, not moving. Rainstorm, I mean, it's going to melt. But you get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Do y'all have your favorite gel that has like a really hard cast? I know y'all just seen that flake. This is worse than that. Imagine putting gel in your hair. But it leaves your hair stiff as a board. That's what that's what your hair's like. Nothing. That's how it's supposed to be, like really. But um I'm getting ready to um rinse this out. I'm going to deep condition and then we'll come back and Maybe I'll have something extra to say. I always have something extra to say. But I think I pretty much covered the video. But, you know, I'll come back in afterwards and I'll check in, wash my hair. Might be tomorrow, though, because, like I said, it's late. It's after midnight at this point. And I put my kids to bed, like, what? 8.30? Mm. Yeah. So, um, I might see y'all tomorrow. 
I might see y'all when I take this out. No, when I take this out, but I might see y'all when I'm done deconditioning. Who knows? Depends on how I'm feeling and how tired I am because the stuttering is getting severe. The speech impediment is getting too much for me. <laughs> so I know for a fact I need to go to bed. Um, so I will check in later. Whenever that is. And maybe I have something to discuss with you guys. So catch you in that clip. Catch you in the let me go to bed. Let me just go to bed because catch you in the next clip. And don't make fun of my nails, okay? Alright. I know I keep saying that I oh I'm gonna take look. I'm a mother of two and I got things to do. I didn't mean to rhyme, but I don't got time to just oh let me just, you know, take these uh I got kids running around. I gotta keep track of that, okay? During nap time, half the time I'm sleeping, okay? That's the only time I get to sit down. And even then, I still have another child that doesn't take a nap. So, it's giving very much busy, okay? Any <laughs> anyway, I will catch y'all in the next clip. I'm back, guys. I'm late. I'm really late. I'm almost a week late. <laughs> Y'all, I had so much stuff to do. I had filming, editing, other videos to film and edit. I had important stuff to do. Like, I was just really busy. So, I wasn't able to, like, come back and show you my immediate results. I mean, I probably could have made time. But, I was ripping and running. Literally ripping and running i was busy like ugh, i just had like a whole bunch of stuff i needed to do and i did them and i'm not done because today's wash day and i didn't even get to wash my hair and i probably won't till the next couple of days because i still have a lot of stuff to do but i will say this though my hair does feel, it feels, it feels, how do I put this? It's not a bad thing. My hair feels really good. Um, after I do protein treatments, I do condition, if I didn't say that already, because my hair is protein sensitive and something like the Afro G treatment, it, it does a lot. It takes a lot out on my hair and so I need to follow up with a deep conditioner and honestly afro g comes with a balancing conditioner it don't it don't do nothing for me it balances nothing so i use whatever i have here that i like to use a deep conditioner not a regular conditioner a deep conditioner honestly i deep condition with conditioners it depends depends on the mood so anyway i deep conditioned um did a little wash and go and y'all i don't know if it was the products or was the fact i just did a protein treatment but my curls were sir poppington okay they were looking delicious divine beautiful extravagant they were looking good but um like i said it's 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 the end of the week and I haven't washed my hair or came back to y'all with an update. So, my hair is probably looking a little crusty. So, it's, it's going to be like, girl, what you mean? Your protein treatment did work. Your hair looks a mess. Look, it's the end. Today is wash day and I didn't get around to it. So, my hair is probably a little crusty under here. Okay. So, we about to get into it. First of all. I really needed that protein treatment because after that whole horrible um, experience I had with shampoo, it wasn't horrible, but like the fact that I didn't know I was using sulfate free and I was using sulfate free for almost two months and my hair was terrible. And then I deep conditioned thinking everything was fine, which it was cool. Um, then I kept putting heat on my hair. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I really needed that protein treatment. Let's just say that because after I did the protein treatment, deep condition my hair, put the products in. I've never had a popping wash and go. Maybe like once or twice in my life. So I really think, I think it has something to do with the products. And I also think it has something to do with the protein treatment because like my hair was lacking and I don't normally do protein treatments because my hair is so protein sensitive. So it's not something I need to do often. And when I do, I usually do it when my hair is damaged or when I'm using like a lot of heat or chemicals or something like that. But the chemical days are over for me. I'm trying to stay away from the color. That's my weakness. So anyways, we about to get into this, um, get into what? We're about to do a reveal. <sighs> Y'all, please don't make fun of me because I know my hair is crusty. I know, I know it is. I know it is. I know it is. Um, if y'all see my thumbnail, that's how my hair looked right after my wash and go. Not even right after. It was the day after I did my wash and go. That's how my hair looked. Um. Like I said, it's been a week and I need to wash my hair. So the curls aren't flowy. They aren't. I mean, you know what? Honestly, it's just a front. Like I had a really hard time with the front of my hair. I have like right over this piece right here, first of all. But the front of my hair is. Was giving me a hard time. A really hard time. But then the front of my hair. I have like three different textures. I got, it's really coarse in the back, it's loose in the middle, and it's thin on the sides. And then it's like, I don't know what's going on over here. But anyway, um, yeah, I know y'all see the flakes. Cause like I said, I need to wash my hair. Anyways, if y'all can see, let me get a close up. Look, look. Do y'all see what that protein treatment did to my hair, my guy? Like, I've never seen my curls this defined before. And it really makes me happy that I decided to grow my hair out. And to stay natural, like to not color it, to not put too much heat on it. I mean, first of all, I'm not about to get no perm. That's not happening. But do y'all see these curls, though? The definition, like, I'm not about to be doing protein treatments all the time. But maybe I'll do them a little bit more often. Because honestly, I do protein treatments like once or twice a year. And that's after I fry my hair. <laughs> So maybe that's why my hair is frying. But anyway, um, my hair still has a great deal of moisture too. I mean, it's it has a lot of moisture towards the top, but towards my roots. Nah, it's still pretty moisturized. It just looks, just looks a mess. I mean, it don't look a mess, mess. Honestly, if I just pull my hair up in the, uh, um, Put it back in a headband. You would never know that I got this little issue going on in the front. Just do a little spritz, put some gel, put a headband on. Like you never, you never would have known that the front was acting a fool. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Um, a well-needed protein treatment. And am I putting my bonnet on? Clearly, yes, because I need to wash my hair and. It looks a mess. Y'all, now that I think about it, I definitely have somewhere to go tomorrow. So you know what I'm going to do? Spritz this bad boy up in the front. Slick it back with some gel. Put on a headband. Call it a day. Because I'm not about to be doing all the extra. I'm not doing all the extra. Especially when I need to wash my hair. Why am I going to sit here and... I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that. I'm about to redefine it. 
I'm about to wash my hair again. And honestly, I'm I just I just have a lot of stuff to do around the house. So I'm about to keep my bonnet on anyway. And my hair is still moisturized, so why do I need to tamper with it? I need to wet it, re-moisturize it. For what? It's already moisturized. And I'm gonna be in the house. Like, why would I sit here? And then I would have to redefine my curls? Yeah, I'm not doing that all over again. Uh-uh. No way, Jose. Uh-uh. No sir, no ma'am. Absolutely. Positively not. So, um, y'all, I'm out of breath. Because like I said, I've been ripping and running and I need to catch a break. Like, honestly, I'm, I still have something to do after this. But I'm just trying to like, I was like, let me just get this clip in real quick because this video is late and I'm going to end up posting a day late. So let me just slide right in there real quick, put my kids to bed, ate dinner, let me film real quick and go back to doing what I was doing. So that is the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave comments below. If you join the channel and you want me to shout you out, let me know. Um, and I think that's about it. So I will see you in the next video. And. Have a good weekend. I love you all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Stay yourself, first of all. Like we had this pet talk already. Be yourself. Stay yourself. Do you, boo. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.